surprise from Eden Condensed Small Space Garden Design. And this is garden space. So let's say you get this lovely potted plant of flowers. These are impatiens here. Um, I want to give you some tips on how to ensure that they get planted in the ground uh, from the pot so that they'll succeed the best. Uh, when they're grown in the nursery centers, they're grown in specialized potting soil and putting them directly into an in-ground garden bed, you're not always sure what's, what your dirt's made out of. So you want to give it enough nutrition and enough water so that the plant doesn't go into shock and that it has the best start in life. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you dig a hole that's uh, twice as wide and as deep and then as deep as the pot that it's coming from and make sure that it's nice and deep. I always like to add a little bit of organic potting soil to my potting hoil and as well as some time to release fertilizer. Um, this is Osmocote for outdoor uh, plants and I'm going to put about a tablespoon in the potting hole as well just to give it um, a good start and make sure that it's got ample nutrition. Then you'll want to gently release the pot, the, the pot away from the plant, remove any plastic tags or anything, and then take a look at the root system. If the roots are pretty tightly bound up, you'll want to take the time to loosen them. You can even remove some of the dirt from the bottom and loosen them. But try to keep as much of the soil, not like that one, uh, try to keep as much of the soil intact because this is what this plant is used to and you don't want to have it all bare rooted before you stick it in. Then you're going to go ahead and put it in your planting hole and smooth the dirt over it that you dug out. And make sure it's covered on all sides. Pat it down gently, but not too firmly because you do want to make sure that it uh, will absorb water. And then give it a really good watering. So give it a nice good watering and let the water soak in. If it continues to soak in, you can give it a little bit more. And then make sure that you do check on the plant over the next couple of days next week, just to make sure that it's got a good start and that you have your watering schedule down correctly for the particular uh, potted plant that you've put in. If you have any other questions about how to transplant a potted plant or flower into the ground, please contact me at www.edencondensed.com. Thank you very much.